next up is the word and. Now, and is a really, really powerful word. As you know, when you're writing, the word and connects uh, statements together or connects the sentence together and helps you move on as you're writing that communication. Now, if you use it in language, as I say, it's a very powerful word. It can encourage people to take further action and do different things. So let me give you an example. Um, it helps you work out what is really going on. So say you're sat down with a team member or a customer and the customer says, uh, Simon, I'm really upset with the invoice that you've just sent us. Now, they might choose to stop at that point. And if they do, you can then say, and. Now, if you say, and, they are much more likely then to expand on the situation that they find themselves in. So if you've got a team member, perhaps, that's struggling with a situation at work or they're struggling to learn, if you, instead of them saying something and then you asking a question, if you just simply say, and what else? then they will delve further and deeper into that problem so you get a better understanding of it. Now, a, a much more challenging way of delving deeper is to, to, to use silence and just not say anything. So if somebody says that I'm struggling with reconciling a VAT account, instead of saying, so what specifically is it about the VAT account that you're struggling with? If you then don't speak at that point, they are much more likely to expand on what it is that they've shared. So using the word and and silence, so no language whatsoever, will help people or encourage people to expand. It can be a bit uncomfortable sometimes, so you need to be a bit conscious of that. And then you've got the phrase, what else? And then if you build on that, you can use the phrase, anything else. Now, if we're in a conversation and I say to you, and uh, what else? Because I'm saying what else, you are much, much, much more likely to expand on what you're talking about. Um, if I use the phrase anything else, there's an unconscious signal there to the audience or to you, the person that we're communicating with, that suggests that there might not, it's a bit weaker. Can you hear the difference? What else? Anything else. It gives you permission. Anything else gives you permission to escape that conversation. So if you're presenting, this is used a lot. Again, if you uh, listen to people when they are uh, presenting at the front of a room, they will very often, they'll say, what else, what else, what else, what else? And then when they've extracted all of the information, all of the points that they want to cover, they will then say anything else. And at that point, the audience will stop delivering answers. So the power of and and the tyranny of or is another phrase that you will very often hear. So can we have both things rather than one or uh, the other? So use the word and what else and silence.